Hi, I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Hello mga kamathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe, ay mag-subscribe ka na. At hit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon tungkol sa inductive reasoning. So what you will learn today, illustrate inductive reasoning and state conjectures based on patterns observed. So reasoning is one of the important skills in mathematics. So let's have the exploration activity. So paper folding. Carol folded the paper in half. She noted that one fold created two regions on the paper. She folded the paper twice and created four regions. She continued folding the paper and wrote the data she obtained on the table. Again, Carol folded the paper in half. She noted that one fold created two regions on the paper. She folded the paper twice and created four regions. She continued folding the paper and wrote the data she obtained on the table. In one fold, she created two regions as shown in the figure. So, kapag meron kang isang papel, tapos ni-fold mo sa gitna, dalawang regions yung iyong makakreate. Then, kapag naman dalawang folds yung ginawa mo, you will be creating four regions. So, therefore, ito yung table na na-obtained ni Carol. So, number of folds and the number of region. So, yung sa number of folds, kapag one fold, you have two regions. Kapag two folds, four regions. Kapag three folds, eight regions. Four na folds, 16 regions. At five na folds, 12, 32 regions. She noticed that each succeeding number of regions was twice the preceding number of regions. Hence, she conjectured that the number of regions formed can be obtained by the expression 2 raised to x. So, kung mapapansin, yung preceding number niya ay multiplied by 2 or nadodoble. So, 2 naging 4, 4 naging 8, 8 naging 16, 16 naging 32, and so and so forth. So, therefore, dun sa kanyang conjecture, sinabi niya na ang number of regions form can be obtained by the expression 2 raised to x where x is the number of folds. So to verify her conjecture, Carol folded the paper 6 times and predicted that there would be 64 regions on the paper and indeed, there were 64 regions. So using the formula, 2 raised to x, so we have 2 to the 6th equals 64. And then, uh, through paper folding, so, ito yung na-create na region. Kapag meron kang 6 folds, makapag-create ka ng 64 regions. What kind of reasoning did Carol use to arrive at her conclusion? A conjecture is a conclusion made from observing data. It may or may not be true. Inductive reasoning is the process of gathering specific information usually through observation and measurement then making a conjecture based on the gathered data. So notice in explore activity about paper folding, Carol searched for pattern and stated her findings as a formula, yung kaninang 2 raised to x. In other words, she used inductive reasoning to make a conjecture. So therefore, bago ka makapag-create ng conjecture, gagamit ka dito ng reasoning. So you need to uh, gather in specific information through observation and measurement. So katulad ng ginawa kanina ni Carol. So now, let's have an example related to inductive reasoning. So for our example 1, find the sum. So 1 equals 1. 1 plus 3 equals to 4. 1 plus 3 plus 5 equals to 9. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 equals to 16. Then 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 equals blank. 
So dito mapapansin nyo, ina-add yung mga odd numbers So dito ay add the first 5 odd numbers Then yung sa susunod, 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus ellipsis plus 2n minus 1 equals to blank So yung 2n minus 1, ito yung formula in finding the odd numbers Where in yung n ay kung pang ilang odd numbers yung hinahanap natin so, therefore, we need to observe the, the data and then pwede tayo create ng formula to arrive at our conjecture or conclusion. So, observe that the sum is the square of the number of odd numbers being added. So, kapag 4 odd numbers, mapapansin natin that is 4 squared. That is 16. Kapag apat na odd numbers yung magkakasunod na 1, 3, 5, 7, that is 4 squared. Kapag naman 5, that is 5 squared equals 25. So, from the pattern observed, we can make this conjecture. The sum of the first n odd numbers is n squared. Halimbawa, first 10 odd numbers yung i-add natin, that is 10 squared equals to 100. When we add 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and 19. So, therefore, gagamit na lang tayo ng formula na n squared, that is 10 squared equals to 100. Okay, so let's have another example. If you cut n cuts in a string, how many pieces will you end up with? So, yung number of cuts natin, that is your x, halimbawa 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then, we have the number of pieces. Kapag hindi pinuputol, of course, isang buo yung ating tali. Kapag pinutol natin ng isang beses, ilang tali yung mabubuo natin? Ilang piraso? Dalawang piraso. Kapag naman dalawang putol, tatlong piraso. Kapag apat, and so and so forth. So, observe that the number of pieces of string is plus 1 on the number of cuts. Kung kapag may tar tatlong cuts tayo, that is 3 plus 1, so makakabu tayo ng 4 pieces. Kapag naman 4 cuts, edi 4 plus 1 equals to 5 pieces. So, therefore, makakabu na tayo ng conjecture. So, from the pattern observed, we can make this conjecture. The number of pieces you will end up with is y equals to x plus 1. So, you just add this plus 1. So, kapag 25 cuts, edi mabubuo natin ay 25 plus 1 is 26 pieces. Okay, so ganun lang po kadali. So, that concludes our lesson. So, I hope that you learned something about inductive reasoning. So, medyo basic lang yung activity na uh, ibibigay ko sa inyo. So, that's about sequence finding the next two terms in the given sequence. So, for your activity, use inductive reasoning to find the next two numbers in each sequence. So, you have 10 items to answer. So, pwede nyo munang kopyahin yung given and then pwede nyo munang i-post yung video tapos sagutan and then we will be rebuilding the answer later on.